During the new era of work event from Microsoft that focused on Windows Copilot and Surface devices, Microsoft finally introduced the new Surface Pro 10 alongside the Laptop 6. And it's turning up to be the best Surface experience you can have right now, or so they say. Cause Surface Pro 9 still holds the crown as the best Surface device to exist for a lot of people. But if you had to choose, which one should you go for? Why don't we find out in our video today? While not exactly a major revamp over the Surface Pro 9, the Surface Pro 10 looks pretty promising in this regard. While it comes with more or less the same design as its two immediate predecessors, you do get to experience the advantage of Intel's AI-friendly Meteor Lake chip, which should work incredibly well with Windows Copilot. The Surface Pro 10 also comes with a higher resolution webcam that also utilizes AI features to enhance overall image quality. By this time, you've already noticed how there's been a ton of buzz regarding AI laptops ever since the reveal of Core Ultra processors, which makes you question the capabilities of the Surface Pro 10. The chip's Neural Processing Unit, or NPU, is optimized for tasks that fall under the AI umbrella, such as automatically blurring the background during video calls. While you can most certainly make use of features like Windows Copilot on the Surface Pro 9 as well, by utilizing the cloud, the AI chatbot from Microsoft should, in theory, work a lot faster in Surface Pro 10 since it's installed on the device locally. If you recall, the Surface Pro 9 features a full-fledged 1080p front-facing webcam that was pretty sharp and colorful for the time. Call it fine, but nothing remarkable. If you're anything like us and felt like the camera from the Surface Pro 9 was a bit... Uh, then you'll be happy to know the Surface Pro 10 comes rocking a 1440p front-facing camera. The camera also comes with support for Windows Studio effects such as automatic framing, eye contact, background blurring, etc. With a 114 degree field of view, this is the widest FOV ever to put into a Windows PC. Additionally, you'll also get a 10 5MP UHD rear rear-facing camera, which is another minor upgrade from the predecessor. The inclusion of a better camera makes working from home all the more enjoyable, considering how many folks work from home or have a hybrid setup. Not only that, but this would mean you can up your Discord game pretty reliably as well. Now a few variants of the Surface Pro 10 will come with a co-pilot key on the keyboard, which might not be an incredible piece of upgrade or info to discuss, but still worth discussing. Why? The last update on the current keyboard since the Windows key was back in 1994, making this key the first key in nearly 30 years. The key acts as a dedicated button for Microsoft's chatbot, which would be beneficial in the upcoming AI overhaul. As easy as it is to ask the question, the answer is not that simple, since the Surface Pro 10 has only been announced, and so far we've only seen the business model. With Microsoft's track record, it's pretty reasonable to assume the consumer model will come with a ton of new features that cater more to the general audience. So if we were you, we'd hold on a bit longer to see what else Microsoft has up its sleeve. The Surface Pro 10 is a solid upgrade from its predecessor, especially considering how the Surface Pros aren't exactly the people's choice when it comes to picking up a portable device. Regardless, do let us know your thoughts and opinions, as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.